Ben, you go first. All right. Uh, yeah, doing great. <laughs> Trying to uh, keep my sanity somehow, but it's been good. Having extra time with uh, my wife and baby. Got a four month old, so just spending more time hanging out with him and trying to teach him uh, my my ways of playing Madden. Um, but now we're watching a lot of movies and shows, watching Tiger King right now, which is just a mind blowing documentary. Um, and then just working out and throwing, trying to stay in shape and be ready to go as soon as we can. Uh, yeah, I think basically almost basically what Ben said, I've just been basically staying inside, hanging out with the wife. I mean, also playing a lot of video games. I have my own setup in the living room. So uh, we just sit here, play video games. She does her thing, whatever she wants to do. <laughs> right behind me. <laughs> and uh, basically, I mean, uh, I haven't really done much working out because I don't really want to go anywhere to a facility or anything. But I will be probably working out soon here, like next day or so, just to get back into shape and stuff. But that's basically it. So this off season, I started a Madden league with DJ and I kind of brought it up to him by the end, coming back this spring. I was like, we should do a Madden league with like all the guys. And uh, he was like, yeah, cool, cool. And then kind of like nothing really boiled down with it or happened with it. Then come, I don't know, Ben, when probably late February, right? Yeah. I, would say I, st I started saying like, we should do this. Cause I found out like a lot more people played Madden, Heller, like, uh, Wade, uh, Tropiano. There was a lot of guys no, in there that, yeah. I mean, actually, Judge didn't really play. He didn't play until we got it. Oh, he really? got the game. Yeah. Oh wow. So like, I just kind of went around the clubhouse and asking guys like, "Hey, you want to do a Madden league?" They're like, "Wait, what are you talking about?" So like, guys had no idea what this was. Clueless. There was only like a few of us that really knew, like me, Heller, DJ, and that's probably it, to be honest. But uh, yeah, I brought it up to them. They were all. They all seemed to like it, and next thing you know, we did the draft, and everybody was just loving it, getting into it, having a great time, and we all talked smack to each other each week. I mean, the, the first season went by – I would say the first half of the first season went by pretty quick, and then we kind of hit like a kind of slow stalemate, but it's been going – it's going to be going steady right now. And, uh, I mean, yeah. Ben, you want to take over from there? Yeah, I mean, as far as – the league goes I think it's been just a lot of fun like staying connected with teammates and stuff um it's kind of interesting because not many guys have like really ever been into Madden I've that's like the only game that I've really played consistently my whole life but most guys prefer like Call of Duty or Fortnite or like if sports games maybe FIFA or NBA so I've never had other like teammates to play Madden with so it's been a lot of fun actually having guys um who are interested in it and um yeah definitely a few guys who had never played madden before and there's a little bit of a learning <laughs> curve so um i know tommy's tommy's been sending out like tip videos every day every day we have a group chat he'll send like yeah. a video a youtube video like how to read defenses and stuff and i don't know if anybody actually them or not, uh, they probably hey, don't they definitely don't yeah yeah i don't think so i'm pretty sure you're the only one who's taken it to that level of trying to read if it's cover two or cover three. Oh yeah. Um, but Hey, maybe you'll be, a, maybe you'll be able to put it on your resume someday for an NFL head coaching <laughs> position. <laughs> so it's pretty much like been a good way for us to all like stay in contact with each other, especially now. I mean, but, uh, the, uh, I do try to like help every guy cause I don't want them to all like feel like they're not that good or anything. So I want guys to get better and like learn how to play. But like Ben said, this is the first time I really, been in like a league where guys at baseball are like into Madden now but it's always yeah. been like like he said like Call of Duty, Fortnite like any kind of one of those like shooter games or maybe like NBA, FIFA so it's actually really cool for the first time I've been able to like kind of branch out with all the, the guys that we play with and like play this kind of league because I'm in actually Ben, I've gotten Ben into another I'm in another league with 32 mm -hmm. people and yeah, I've gotten, I got core league. <laughs> <laughs> I got Ben into one of those, and we both eventually just got out of it. Just because it's just too time consuming, and uh, yeah. those guys are actually really good and stuff. But I am currently in another league with thirty-two players as well. So we got me, Heller, DJ, Voight, Judge, Wade, Frazier, Tropiano, Mike Ford, Aaron Hicks, Zach Britton, Montgomery. Who else we got? Holder. Holder and I think there's one more, Ben. Uh, 
Um, I'm drawing a blank here. Yeah. We got we have 15 teams all together. Yeah, so. we have 15 players. So yeah. that's where we're at right now. So, so I'm, I'm the, the Eagles and Ben, you go. I'm, yep. I'm the Colts. Yeah, so I, I'm actually a Packers fan in real life, Brett Favre. That is very that's true. Favorite yep. player. Um, but I, I had to be a team in the AFC, so um, yeah, just went with the Colts. Yeah, because I made Ben told him basically be a team in the AFC so we can kind of even it out, the teams yeah. in each league. We did a fantasy draft though, so everybody. Yeah, we also it's it's scratch. not. Yeah, we're not actually each team. So like, I'm not the Eagles with all the players. It's basically we did a fantasy draft. It's 53 rounds, but to be honest, I think me, Ben, and one other person might have done 30 of the rounds. None of us got the first pick, but Luke had the first user pick, and I think he had the fourth overall. Yeah, who did he take? Um, McCaffrey. He took McCaffrey. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Frazier got uh, Lamar Jackson, which he's kind of – I would say he's probably like the best player in the game is Lamar Jackson. So, um, Frazier ended up Good. getting him. And he doesn't really use him too well. Yeah, he doesn't use him right. <laughs> Frazier, if you're listening, <laughs> figure out how to use Lamar. Yeah, figure it out because the last time I played Frazier, I made him quit and Ben beat him by 50. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of guys who are who are solid players. It all just yeah. kind of depends on the game, like – Madden's yeah. a weird game. Like, there's there's some glitches in there that you can only oh, yeah. really learn from playing <laughs> over time. Like, it's a direct correlation yeah. of how much time you put in to how good you are. So I agree, yeah. <laughs> the way it works is you play out the season. It's like any normal NFL season. Everybody plays that schedule from – so, basically, it's based off the 2019 schedule, more or less. So, in the playoffs, we had – on the AFC side, there was only five teams – Five players got in because we had an influx of players in one division. And then in the NFC, we had six users. So, like, that was good. So, in the first round, it was – I want to say it was uh, Judge versus – was it Holder the first time? Uh, no, I think it was Judge and Wade. No, they played in the – they didn't play oh. in the first round. Because it was Wade versus – however it worked out, it was that <laughs> – who am I missing in those two right now? I don't know. Holder I can actually look. Have, Let me pull Holder it up. Holder played uh, Talkman. That's who it was. So Holder played Talkman. And then, yeah, you're right. Judge played Wade in the first round. Okay. That is right. Thanks, Ben. <laughs> I'm trying really to think. So, yeah. Uh, I have the, I have, you know, it's funny is I have my PlayStation up right now so I can see who's in what. Oh my gosh. Yeah, of course. Well, uh, so it's on 24 C. On, on my side, I had a first round bye. And then I faced Britt, who is the Broncos. Um, and I had played him earlier in the season already. So I kind of knew what he was going to try to do. He actually had a really good game against me in the regular season, but um, he's got, all he's got is, is deep threats. So I just knew I had to guard, guard the deep ball. And if I could take that away, I would be set. So I ended up beating Britt in the first round. And then um, I played Michael King in the AFC championship game. He's the Patriots, um, his hometown team. And that was a really good game. I was actually down, I think I was down by a field goal with like a minute and a half left. That is um, right. Yeah. So I ended up, we ended had, up we had all the, I made, all right. Another thing is I made them all Twitch live stream the, uh, the playoff game. So we each could watch them, but continue Ben. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, ended up scoring to beat Kinger, um, in the AFC championship. And that was, the I mean, that, that's the kind of, that's the kind of game that you live for, though, is like those back and forth close games because there are it a lot a of fun. blowouts. Yeah, it was a fun yeah, game. It was, it was a fun game to watch. And then, so uh, going back to the MC side, exactly how we said it, Talkman ended up beating um, Holder in the first round. I had a first round bye, and so did DJ. So, and then Judge played Wade in the first round. Judge beat Wade, and then Judge moved on to play DJ, and Talkman moved on to play me in the in the second round. I ended up uh, beating Talkman pretty bad. <laughs> and uh, then I remember DJ also beat up on Judge. So it was basically two blowouts, and then we met in the NFC Championship. So this is the game I was looking forward to all over again because DJ got me earlier in the season by two points on a couple, I would say, uh, lucky plays. But, you know, you can no, say what you want. They were lucky. <laughs> DJ's better. DJ outplayed yeah. Tommy. Yeah. Uh, but so Tommy coming in. Stop him. And then it, so in the NFC Championship, uh, it got it started out pretty quick. I uh, I picked off DJ and took it to the house. I went up seven nothing pretty early, and then uh, 
I think DJ came down and scored. So it was seven to six. And then after that, I kind of went on a route and I started routing them. I got the score up to 29 to six, but then something happened in the third quarter where I fumbled on back-to-back drives. DJ scores on both those, those drives. So he got within seven and it's 29, 22. I think there was, uh, probably about what would you say? Four minutes left probably been, I, I didn't, I didn't convert on a third down. So DJ got the ball back. He drove down, scored. And uh, there was probably two minutes left. So he went for two, got it, and he was up 30 to 29. There was like two minutes left. So I get the ball back, and uh, I have another – I get it to about like probably around the, the midfield, and uh, I don't convert on fourth down. So there's a minute left, and I'm pretty much thinking the game's over. So DJ gets the ball, and he runs it on first down. I uh, call a timeout. Next thing you know, he tries to throw it on second down doesn't get it. So the clock stops thinking in my head, I'm like, he's going to throw it again. Third down comes DJ. You know what he does? I was sitting right. I knew exactly who he was going to try to throw it to. He does it, backs up, throws. I pick him off, take it to the house, touchdown. And I ended up beating DJ all because yeah, he a, decided it's a complete fluke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. The fact that I blew a big lead like that is, is another thing, but it's that's, yeah. it was pretty, yeah, it was pretty crazy ending by my game. The guys that I beat in the in the playoffs, they all said, we need you to beat Tommy. So, <laughs> They're all against me. They're all conspiring yeah. against me. I feel like I was I was like the people's team, you know. I was like – I was the team that everybody needed to see win. So, um, it was it was intense. It was definitely like a high um, high stress game, like right from the start. My heart was pounding. <laughs> yeah, been through, a, through, been through a pick on the first play, and I returned it almost for a touchdown. Yeah. You remember this, that? So this yeah. was the first time this was the first time that Tommy and I had ever played. That is um, yeah, we, that is we've true. Talked a lot about Madden over the last couple seasons because we each played like in our own individual leagues. So I think I would say there was kind of a lot of hype going into this game. Like just, you know, it's big time matchup between two guys the two guys in the league who probably play Madden the most. Um but yeah, it didn't start out so hot for me. And <laughs> and I, I just knew I had to keep my head down and, and keep grinding. I, I kind of took a note out of DJ's book um, against Tommy. You know, he was down by three touchdowns and didn't panic, didn't change his game. He just put his head down and kept playing. So um, even though I got down seven, nothing early, I just felt like I had to just stick to my game and, and keep going. Yeah. So basically so, it worked out, Ben, uh, what was it? I went up seven nothing. You came down and scored again right after that. And then uh after that my offense kind of just started away and Ben just played great defense for the first half. It uh worked out to where Ben was up at halftime thirteen to seven. And then uh come second half, Ben uh kind of made a hiccup on defense, left my guy wide oh, open. Yeah. I scored a touchdown to go up fourteen to thirteen. Then uh I think I allowed a touchdown at some point during during the end, closer to the yeah, end, I right? Or in the third I had that. I had that ridiculous, like that's what it was. Yes, left yep. where my guy yep. came all the way across the field. <laughs> a ridiculous play. <laughs> that was awesome. Ben had a ridiculous play to take the lead. It was yeah. twenty to. Oh, actually, so not twenty. It was sixteen to thirteen is what it was. Because I ended up yeah. getting a field goal, thirteen ten, and I scored, missed the extra point, sixteen thirteen. Ben scores. It's 20, 20 to 16. I have the ball with, oh what, just over a minute maybe left? Yeah. Yep. On the, in the fourth quarter. So, Daniel Jones, my quarterback, has got to make one of the tremendous drives in uh, Super Bowl history. So, uh, <laughs> basically, I, I get it all the way down there. I uh, get to about the three. There's probably 20 seconds left. Yep. I, uh, I messed up, and I uh, – got a false or not a fall, a delay game. So it pushed me back to the eight. So on fourth and goal from the eight, I set up this great play. Uh, ben, uh, I know he's very good at defense. So I tried to sucker him in by running a slant inside with my tight end and having my receiver on the backside run a drag. It worked out perfectly, but I panicked and I ended up throwing it to the tight end where Ben was and he picked me off to win the Super Bowl. With the heat on the yeah. commish, and he couldn't clutch up. <laughs> <laughs> it honestly, it honestly so I, set up I blew to be it. like one of the 
Yeah, oh yep. He had God. it right there in his lap. Well, let me oh, put it yeah. this way. The, my my four month old baby was asleep at the time, and <laughs> after I picked it, picked Tommy off to win the game, the baby immediately started screaming, and my wife yelled at me because I woke him up. So, uh, man, I was pumped. I was. So oh good. <laughs> but yeah, I would I, say guys were guys were excited about about the way it finished. They definitely were. They were chiming in in the group chat, yelling and stuff. Yeah. So we we went through the off season. So like we did the the re-sign period, then we did the free agency period, then we did the draft. I mean, right now we're currently in week three of the 2020 season. And uh, I inputted a lot of different rules this year. So everybody's not getting just wins after wins. We're, since we have 15 people now, we got to make it a little more fair for Yeah, guys, Tommy's got guys a list of rules. Tommy's got a list of rules that's about 15 pages long. And all many right. of the, if you break some of the rules, you get suspensions, all kinds of yeah, stuff. Yeah, so. it's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> definitely adding a little more uh structure to the league i guess but some guys we need, we need a little fans. structure yeah we <laughs> yeah. do have oppo- opposers of course of course why wouldn't you yeah <laughs> fraser basically already said that he's he's gonna accept the suspension because he's not gonna follow tommy's rules so that's really gonna we'll see what the commissioner does we'll see if he has a backbone we'll see if he stands by his list of rules or if he lets fraser walk all over <laughs> When it comes final, if he breaks too many rules, he's just going to get the boot. The boot from the league. See ya. <laughs> uh, I really think it's important, you know, that we all stay inside and uh, let this thing blow over. It's the easiest way that we can keep everybody safe and hopefully everybody, you know, will take this serious. Uh, I know me and my wife are. We've been hunkered in for basically, I don't even want to know, uh, probably 13 straight days now. <laughs> so, I mean, it's a – it's definitely a serious thing and I really hope people stay inside, find something to do. There's all kinds of things you could do inside. I mean, we did it as a kid you can do it now. This is probably the only time in our lives where we're going to be told to just stay inside <laughs> and watch TV and hang out with our family members. So let's just take it seriously. I mean, I know we're all probably going a little stir crazy, but it's extremely important. Um, this thing's getting really out of hand. So it's not even about you. It's about everyone else out there who's affected the healthcare system, the, um, the people who are already sick. So, you know, just do your part. If each of us does the best that we can, it's going to add up and make a difference.